Here is a prominent member of the media insofar as he is the editor of the Wall Street Journal, which is a pretty well-known paper. Some, some kind of finance coverage. Now, look, like, I expect this type of timidity from television journalism because they're naturally timid. They have a lot of vested interest in staying on the right side of the Trump administration. I guess at the Wall Street Journal, I shouldn't be surprised. It's Rupert Murdoch. He probably feels the same way. But, and I suppose there could be some question about this, but this seems to be, well, let's listen to this. this here is the Wall Street Journal editor, Gerard Baker, on Chuck Todd's Meet the Press on Sunday, talking about how they'll cover Donald Trump. Do you feel comfortable saying so-and-so lied to be that, 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 you know, if somebody says just an outright falsehood, do you say the word lie? Is that important to start putting in reporting or not? Now, pause it for one second. Now, of course, he's talking about Donald Trump. Uh, Chuck Todd's not going to say the name. (laughs) I mean, who could he be talking about? Just just spitballing here. Now, here's the important thing. An outright lie. An outright lie. Again, it's, it's like me saying, hey, man, it's August. It's August. I'm saying this right now. It's August. When, in fact, it's January. Reporting or not. You know, it's a good... I, I'd be careful about using the word lie. Um, lie implies much more than just saying something that's false. It implies a deliberate intent to mislead. Um, I think it's perfectly... When when Donald Trump says thousands of people were on the rooftops of New Jersey on 9-11 celebrating, thousands of Muslims were there celebrating, I think it's it's right to investigate that claim, Mm -hmm. to report what we found, which is that nobody found any evidence of that whatsoever, and to say that. I, I I I think it's then up to the reader to make up their own mind, to say, this is what Donald Trump says, this is what a reliable trustworthy news organization reports. And you know what? I don't think that's true. I think if you start ascribing um, a, uh, a moral intent, as it were, mm-hmm. to someone by saying that they've lied, I think you run the risk that you look like you are being, you're not being objective. And I think, and, and I do think also it applies, look, people, uh, this, is, this is happening all the time now. Right. People are looking at what Donald Trump's saying and say this is false. It's a false claim. And I think people say, well, you know what? Hillary Clinton said a lot of things that were false. I don't recall the press being quite so quite so concerned about saying that she lied in well, headlines. Or in- okay, so first off, he belies his own talking point by even bringing up Hillary Clinton. Yep. Okay, he, he's, he's telling you really what the issue is there. We don't want to be seen as partisan because the fact of the matter is, is that first off, this whole thing of like, we have a reputable um, a news outlet which will tell you the truth and you can then make your decision. Well, people don't buy that anymore. Secondly, when it's an outright lie, you're also basically saying there's no responsibility for the politician to have done even the slightest bit of work to confirm their truth. When someone says, I know something, I know for a fact that there were Muslims on rooftops celebrating 9-11. That is a lie because they are knowingly trying to mislead you that you, that, that they know something. When they say, we know there were weapons of mass destruction there. They are knowingly trying to mislead you as to the level of assuredness you have in your assessment. Because it was impossible for the Bush administration to know that there were weapons of mass destruction there because there were no weapons of mass destruction there. So it would have been impossible for them to know that. So they had to be lying about their knowledge. They could have said, look, we think there's a 75% chance that there's weapons of mass destruction there. 
okay, maybe that's a lie, maybe it isn't. Maybe that's a falsehood. But with these assertions, if you're making it just a question of whether or not, and because, and particularly if you're just saying like, okay, Donald Trump said this. There were Muslims celebrating on 9-11. Well, we've done some investigating. We have found no evidence of that. Donald Trump still has, in the reader's mind, an opportunity to say, well, I do have evidence. And then you're just back to where you started. I get the, there are times where you cannot judge the intention of someone who may be spreading a falsehood. But let's get real here. We're adults. An assessment can be made, and if it's, look, if it's, a, if it's close, then you don't know. But if Donald Trump changes what he says, hour to hour, then he's lying. Then he knows what he's saying is false because he's willing to say something different an hour later or two hours later or a day later. That is at least a very good sense of what his intent is. His intent is to avoid answering the question, to provide misinformation, or to provide the answer he thinks he's supposed to provide at that moment. That's what a lie is. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe. Subscribe.